Okay, in this video, we're going to go over this question where we're asked to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in each of these following atoms. So we'll start with the first one, where we have our atomic symbol here. And as we look at this atomic symbol, one of the things to remember is protons. The atomic number is always to the left in a subscript, so that 17, we know that tells us there's 17 protons, because that is our atomic number Z, which equals our total number of protons. The number of neutrons in an atom is we can get from the mass number. So the mass number is A, and remember A is equal to the number of protons minus or plus neutrons. So it's a total number of protons and neutrons. And so we know here we have 35 total, and we know there's 17 protons. So the number of neutrons, neutrons is going to be equal to 35 minus the 17 protons, which is going to give us 18 neutrons. And then finally, we're asked to find the number of electrons. And so here, when we think about electrons, we have to remember that each proton has a positive one charge, right? And the total atom overall has a negative one charge. So this charge is made up of by the total number of protons and electrons. And if our overall charge is negative one, then we have one more electron than we have proton. And so we must have 18 electrons, because 18 plus 17 would equal the negative one. And so we have 18 electrons, 17 protons, and 18 neutrons. In our next problem, we can go over here. And we're asked the same thing, protons, neutrons, and electrons. And in this case, we can determine what this elemental symbol is. So we know from our atomic number that there's 46 protons. Once we know there's 46 protons, we can actually pull up a periodic table if we want and find atomic number um, and I'll just differently. We can we can find our atomic number 46, which is here. And so we can see that as palladium. So we'll come back and we can rewrite this as we can say X is equal to palladium. We know for neutrons, there must be 106 protons and neutrons. 46 of them are protons. So, new, so our neutrons is going to be equal to 106 minus the 46, which equals 60 neutrons. Because we know this is a 46 protons and 60 neutrons. Um, in this case, we have no charge. So there's no charge indicated. So this is neutral. And so if no charge is indicated, then we know number of protons equals the number of electrons. So that means we also have 46 electrons. So in our next example, we're shown here. In this case, we're given a mass number, but no atomic number. But we can quickly determine the atomic number because we have the elemental symbol. So we're going to go back and look up the elemental symbol of selenium. So we can find that in the periodic table. And again, we can look at this and we say, where is selenium? Here's selenium. We can see that's atomic number 34, which we get off the periodic table. So we can come back, we can fill that in. I might say 34. So then our number of protons equals 34. Number of neutrons we know is 79 minus 34. 
which equals 45. And in this case, the number of electrons, again, is going to be the same as the protons, because we have a neutral atom. So that's also going to be 34. And again, we know that because there's no charge here. In our next example, we're told we have the isotope uranium-235. And one of the things we have to remember in this case is this 235 when written after the elemental name, that's the mass number. So if we turn this into a symbol, we have uranium-235. And so again, we have to go back to the periodic table to figure out what is our atomic number. So we can come back to our periodic table. And let's see if we can't find our uranium, which would be down here. There's uranium. And we can see the elemental 92. So we'll come back. 92. And so now we can start to fill in. So we know there's 92 protons from the atomic number. There's, for neutrons, we would have number of neutrons would now be 235 minus the 92, which is equal to 143. And we also have 92 electrons. We know that again because we have a neutral atom. So neutrons, electrons. And in our final question, we're asked to generate an atomic symbol given this information. And so where you would start is we need to figure out what our elemental symbol is. And so we're going to get that from the number of protons. So we get 11 protons, come back to our periodic table and say, where do we have 11, atomic number 11? And we can say that is the sodium, Na atom. So we know that this tells us we have Na. So we can draw that symbol Na. We then also know that the sum of our protons and neutrons is equal to A. And so 11 plus 12 is 23. So we know we have 23. We know the atomic number is 11. That's how we got the sodium. And so the last thing to think about is what is our charge? And our total charge would be we have 11 protons and 10 electrons. So each electron is a negative one charge. Each proton is a positive one charge. So we have one more proton than electron. So we're going to end up having a positive one charge. And so here is our elemental symbol. Thank you.